The rolling hills, the tree-lined fairways, the lakeside views, the true hidden gems of the area. This is a look at some of the most unique and challenging golf courses in central Illinois. This is the WCIA3 Golf Tour Extravaganza. Hello and welcome to our Golf Tour Extravaganza special. I'm Matt Wetterston. Over the next hour, we'll be profiling 18 of the best holes in central Illinois. We'll even step into Indiana once as well. We'll be taking a look at everything from short par threes to drivable par fours, even reachable par fives. But we start with a pair of courses where golf is a true family affair. Jeff Boldick has owned Meadowview and Mattoon for almost two decades. The 17th hole at Meadowview Golf Course is a 170 yard par three from the white tees. It is a daunting tee shot overlooking a big lake. And Jeff Boldick here is to break it down with us. And Jeff, daunting I guess is the one word that comes to mind when you look at this hole. Matt, it's a, uh, it's a daunting shot for sure. Um, second to the last hole obviously on the golf course, uh, 170 yards based on uh, uh, the wind directions and, and what's going on for the day. Uh, it's, it's a shot that uh, most people will just kind of tense up and not quite know where to hit it. So um, it's obviously uh, anything short and left is going to be in water. So the, uh, the bailing point, I guess if there's a place to hit it, is going to be long and right. Good swing. 15 feet right of the stick. That's the club to hit. It's a good line. Good putt. Good. good. <laughs> oh, hit it halfway there. Come on. You know, the high score has to buy lunch. Very nice. Very nice. Jeff, well played. A couple pars, I guess. We're lucky there. No doubt if you can avoid the tee shot. But then when you get to the green, it does slope from right to left. The greens have some moisture in them, but I bet that gets kind of slick, especially if you're up to the top. It area. does. You get into the normal season uh, when the temperatures are about normal uh, and you haven't had 10 inches of rain in April, uh, the speed of the greens is really good. If you can be one of the 5,000 golf balls a year that avoids the lake, you may have a chance on the 17th here at Meadowview. The third hole at Lakeshore Golf Course in Taylorville is a 415 yard par four that is certainly a dog leg to the left with trees guarding both sides of the fairway. Jason Boldig, the uh, general manager of the course, his name may ring a bell. Your father, Jeff, Correct. down at Meadowview in Mattoon, he, now he was a pretty good player if I yeah. remember correctly. He made a par, so some big shoes to fit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's, uh, he's taught me the game my whole life, so he, uh, he is a good player, doesn't get out much anymore, but he, um, he's taught me everything I know so far. Certainly a tough few starting holes here to Lakeshore in the third hole probably just kind of they sure are talks about that they sure are um, third hole it's a dog leg left par four as you said 415 yards um, it sets up great if you can play a draw otherwise um, it's a pretty tough hole for for most right-handed players um, you run out of, you run out of space too far down the left side um, and if of course you hit a big slice and you hit it far to the right you're out of room as well because it's a, a pretty a pretty tree-lined hole um, and like I said, there's just not a lot of space long or left. And see that one there, I, up I the cut right just side. a little too much, yeah. Oh, that's dead. Trouble? Yeah, that, that'll find some tree trouble down there. I mean, hopefully you'll, you'll have a shot where you can either punch out or, if you're lucky, find a gap to uh, maybe loft a wedge into the green. But Tree trouble is my nickname. <laughs> yeah. All right, Jason, when you said left was no good, Correct. I hit it left. Okay. And this is no good. So the, you were uh, accurate in that assessment. <laughs> yes. Uh, I mean, right here we're in the trees. The green's probably, uh, from your position, about 160 yards. Um, like you said earlier, if you are a risky player, I mean, you might risk trying to punch out between these trees, but from this position, um, you'd almost want to play for bogey. Good shot. Well done. Jason, this is the much more conventional uh, side, I guess, here from the right. It's kind of a pretty little landing uh, shot on the green, and it's a little more open than where yeah, I was. Yep, sure is. I, I missed the fairway a little bit to the right here, um, but I didn't find any tree trouble. I've got about 155, 160 yards into the breeze, so it's playing around 
Yeah, probably one, 175, 180. Yeah. Little drop. Bite. Headed towards That's the left bite. side of the green. Okay. Not bad. Good shot. Ooh, it spun on you. Come on in. Turn. Skipped on you. Yep, there it is. One take. Awesome. I will say this. I think you can go home, have some respect to family <laughs> next Christmas. Thank you. Thanksgiving. First five holes here at Lakeshore. Hold on for dear life because you could be in for a wild ride. That's right. That's for sure. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. Still to come on our golf tour extravaganza, we'll take a look at a par five that's reachable in two shots, giving an eagle chance. And we'll head to Mawikwa, where we get a lesson on how to make an easy par from a 12-year-old. Good pot, Leighton. How about that, the 12-year-old showing us up here. But up next, we're heading to a trio of short par fours. Driving the green in one shot is possible, but so is making a big number if it's not hit perfectly.